welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make a multi-strand bracelet. So there are, um, in my opinion, three ways to really accomplish this. Um, I have my strands already created. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward, or you can watch some of my introductory um, jewelry making videos if you want to see how to make um, some of these. This is just a length of chain. These are just um, rolls of decorative trim that I purchased um, and cut strands off. So everything is the same length. And then this is a um, just a strand of beads with the letter beads and this little flower tassel hanging on it. Um, so one way that you could connect your strands together especially if you are doing multiple beaded strands, is to put them on your beading wire or fishing line, we use fishing line, and um, make a loop and a crimp at the end, um, and then connect them to one of these, um, what we refer to as chandelier components here. Um, they have multiple loops, so this one has four, I have some that go all the way up to 10, depending on how many strands you want. Um, this student had actually doubled up. So she has six strands and two on, the two smaller type of strands are here and here. So um, that's one way to do it, to connect them and then you connect them on the other side to bring them all together. And that way you're not putting on, you know, six different bracelets in the morning. Um, they're all connected together and then with a, a little lobster clasp. Um, another way you could do it is um, depending on the type of strand, you could connect them all um, with just a jump ring. So if you have chain, if you have items that have loops, if you wanted to put um, a cord end at the end of this, like a little, it's, it's basically like a little clamp um, that has a loop on it and connect them that way you can. What we are going to use are these cord crimps. Um, these, for whatever reason, when I bought this softer gold color, they actually already came kind of like a set like this. So it has the lobster clasp and jump rings already on it. Um, if you want to see how to, sorry, that's our, our bell ringing here at school. Um, if you want to see how to create those um, or how to attach a jump ring, then you can check out that basic video that I have on using jump rings. So the bell's gonna ring here in just a second, so ignore that loud noise. Maybe. Nope, I guess we're gonna skip over it. All right, good. Uh, so moving on. Um, so what I'm gonna do, um, and I have found this to be the best way to accomplish this when you have strands of different thicknesses. Um, and when you try to put them in here, uh, if you have one that's really thick and one that's really little, when you crimp this together, a lot of times the smaller ones slide out. So I actually use a, there it is. There's that bell. Um, I actually use a hot glue gun. So you can do it one of two ways. You can line up your pieces and kind of run a piece of glue on it, or you can put little drops of glue actually in the cord crimp and or end crimp and do it that way, which is what I am going to do. So I'm going to figure out, let's see, how I want to lay these out. Um, I'm just determining the order. Okay, I think we'll do them like that. Um, so I'm going to start by putting a little bit of glue in here and I'm going to press my first strand in here and let it dry. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue, move on to the next one. Okay, and then you might have to, that one's little, because it's on fishing line. Um, a little more, I'm trying to keep the glue small so it's not squishing out everywhere. I put my chain in. So I've got 
three strands there so far. And then I'm gonna put the last two. They make um, different sizes of these. There we go. They make different size um, cord or end crimps. So if you need wider ones or skinnier ones, um, they make those. So now that I have all of those attached together, I'm going to take um, my pliers and pinch them down. And that will really make sure everything stays secure. So I'm pinching the um, cord. I keep wanting to call it a cord crimp. We use those as well. End crimp. Making sure that it's pinched close. Um, and then you just want to make sure that if there are any pieces of glue sticking out anywhere or any little strands that you get rid of those. So I have all four or all five pieces secure here. You can see just like that. Now I'm going to connect them on the other side. And I want to make sure that I keep them in order. So again, we're going to do the glue and I'm going to put the first one in while I've got that one I should be able to put the next one in you might um, just be mindful when you're working with the hot glue and the metal because when the when the hot glue obviously gets in there with the metal it gets hot so um, and you can feel it through sometimes so just be careful of that so we've got the strand next beaded strand here. That one is the hardest one. I'm going to use my pliers. Here we go. Actually. Uh, so when I'm working with these little tiny beaded strands, you just have to be careful not to pinch the, the actual um, beads in there. So I've got that one. My chain is next and my last little outside strand there. I knew that was going to happen. My beaded strand fell back out because I warmed up the glue. I'll put that one in last. And let's put this one like this. And let's get that beaded strand in there. I'm trying not to get everything twisted here. All right. more glue <clears throat> and we'll make sure that one's secure there we go so again pinch it all down hold everything in place like that make sure it's really secure and then I'll show you on my wrist so you can see and if I can get all the, um, you want to get all the little glue, hot glue strands off of there. So again, this is just one of three ways to connect them. If 
you don't like this method, you can certainly do the other ones. So it would be like this. Um, and then depending on how you, let me hold it please. Depending on how you position this stuff will determine you know, what you see more of. Okay, so um, this is another case of where um, the style of it and the overall look of it is going to vary a lot depending on the items you choose. If you choose a tassel, if your color scheme is something totally different, the hardware color, um, just the materials themselves. One, um, one student's never looks the same as another's. The, they always look very different. So that is the um, multi-strand bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.